Hi, this is Nell Tharp. I had a request from somebody to talk about how to do a free tie on a bleeder. The places you're most likely to see a bleeder are on the corner of the vulva, um, where the hymen and the vagina uh, meet, um, and the, the lateral vessels, vaginal vessels come uh, toward the hymen. Um, and the other place is in the vaginal sulcus. So that's where the mid-vaginal vessels come up. Um, you can also get bleeding uh, at the hood of the clitoris if the, one of the clitoral vessels is torn. Um, and while many times we're gonna use a figure of eight to uh, stop bleeding, sometimes we need to actually capture the vessel itself directly. Um, that's particularly true, say, if we're under the hood of the clitoris, because we don't want to place a deep stitch there around those sensitive nerve areas. We don't want nerve entrapment that can cause chronic pain. So uh, also in the vaginal sulcus, sometimes those vessels um, can bleed quite copiously. And if we close the vaginal mucosa, we can result in a hematoma as opposed to stopping the bleeding. We may obscure the bleeding, um, so it's not visible vaginally, but it may persist into the pelvis. Um, and we want to avoid that. So sometimes it's necessary to get ample exposure, find the vessel itself, clamp it off, and then apply what is called a free tie. And a free tie is a piece of suture without a needle that is tied around a vessel. So I'm gonna to go to our works uh, space and I will do a little demo. Hopefully it will be able to be clear to you and um, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here is my model and that little red dot is the bleeding vessel. I'm gonna use my tissue forceps to expose the vessel further so I can see the bleeding and the bleeding is coming out of the vessel and our natural instinct is to try and grab it with the tip, um, but this doesn't allow us to tie it off properly. What we need to do is to actually run the clamp all the way across the lumen of the vessel. And if you haven't seen a vessel before, I mean, this would be, a, here's my little drawing of it. This is blood spurting out of it. So it could be blood spurting out of it, or sometimes you'll just see the blood welling up depending on whether it's an artery or a vein. But we wanna get all the way across the vessel and that will allow us to take our piece of suture, we'll put it under the clamp, around the tip. And this is where the one-handed tie comes in uh, very handy. And we wanna tie very gently. If we um, pull too tight, we wanna pull the suture tight, but if we are pulling and we lift, we will tear the vessel and then it will retract and it'll be harder to, um, harder to, uh, sorry, I can't tie and talk at the same time this morning, um, to tie and to find and uh, uh, tie off. So I've tied uh, a suture around the vessel. I can release the clamp. I can verify that no more bleeding is occurring and then I can cut. And that would just be, that's what a free tie is. It's not a complicated procedure. The hardest part is finding the vessel. So occasionally, if you can only see, oh, I see where the vessel's bleeding and I might grab it like this. It might not stop it, but I've got a hold of the tissue around it. Then I can apply my clamp across. And then I'll take this one off before I place my free tie. The other thing is if I've placed the free tie and I'm not sure whether I'm occluding it well, I can release slowly, see if it's still bleeding and reapply it if needed. That's called flashing. It's not done very often, but if you're not sure, then certainly don't release it completely. And that is a free tie. And you can see I'm on a little piece of felt, but you can see that it it really uh, goes tightly around the vessel. The way to practice a free tie is to use a pop top can and I recommend seltzer and slide your suture on there. Work on your free tie with a closed can of seltzer. When you feel like you have your hand motions very light and delicate, then you can pop the top and have a little bit to drink. And as the can gets lighter, you wanna try and tie your knot without 
tipping the can over. Uh, a free tie takes a very delicate touch. So if you're a person who puts lots of tension on your suture when you're making a free tie, that will avulse or tear the vessel. You have to be extremely delicate. It's very helpful to have somebody else actually holding the clamp. And then as you tighten your knot, they can either flash or release um, the, the clamp so it's not in your way as you do your subsequent ties. And that's it for a free tie. If you have questions, please post them in the comments and feel free to reach out via email to midwifeworkshops at gmail.com.